Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fam Two Cents cooking video. This is going to be another installment in the HelloFresh series. Today we're making an interesting one. We're gonna do Italian chicken over lemon spaghetti. Yeah, sounds weird, doesn't it? I thought it was weird too, cause you know, you have a certain kind of thing in mind when you think of spaghetti and uh, lemon is not one of those things that I think of when I think about spaghetti, so. This was uh, kind of a shock to me uh, when I saw it on the list, but I had to try it because it was very unique and uh, you know, I thought it might be good. So I'm um, gonna get straight to the point as usual. Uh, as I said, time is short. I got a lot of stuff going on. So we're gonna give this a quick run through, let you guys know all the important stuff and rather or not this dish is worth it. And we're just kind of gonna go on about our lives. So, uh, Let's get into it. All right, so how was making this dish and how were the instructions that came with it? Um, I, I think this dish was a pretty fun one to make. I had a pretty good time making this one. And uh, the, I actually did this quite a while ago. I made this dish quite some time ago, but I do remember the instructions being fairly straightforward uh, and easy to understand. I know you guys hear that from me before, but those are my metrics. If it's straightforward and it's easy for me to understand, I can look at it and, and tell what it is they're telling me to do without any confusion or issues. And you know, that's kind of the metric I go by. Uh, there are some that aren't easy to understand or straightforward. So, you know, when you hear about those, you'll know, but I use those words often because that is kind of the metric. Um, some new things that I experienced. I don't often use lemon zest. As you can see, I'm using it here. They're zesting a lemon. It's not something that I typically do because A, it's kind of a pain <laughs> in the butt to do. And uh, I usually just don't have lemons on hand, you know? Like it's not something I just kind of keep around. Um, if ever I want lemon, I just buy lemon juice usually because you can keep it for much longer. You don't have to worry about it going bad or anything like that. So uh, lemon zest is not something I use often. So that was kind of a new experience. This whole dish uh, kind of presented a new experience to me because I mean, you know, the lemon herb chicken is pretty standard. Um, you know, you just give it a nice sear, whatever. You can put that over pretty much anything. You could just eat it by itself or have it as a main dish or whatever. So it wasn't really anything special or significant but the whole dish as a whole kind of the the concept of lemon spaghetti <laughs> i was lost on me like i just i didn't know what to expect really um but i will say that after it was all said and done and uh i i tried the dish uh, i was pleasantly surprised it was kind of the really fresh taste of the chicken uh with that nice sear on there and the herbs and everything you can kind of really taste that um on top of the lemony spaghetti it was um it was <laughs> i mean it worked it just worked and i didn't think it was going to be as flavorful as it was but it was a very flavorful dish even though the noodles didn't really look like they had like much going on like if you look at it it wasn't you know it didn't look like it was super saucy but that's because the sauce itself was kind of this really light almost transparent kind of sauce that if you made sure you cooked it thick enough it coated the noodles but you couldn't even tell like you literally could not see it um it was it was very interesting and then there was a bit of spice that got added to it because they had me add some uh some chili peppers some red chili flakes or whatever it, it, i mean it's one of those dishes that turned out to be so surprisingly good that I was like, I have to make this on my own now because if it's this good with these preset ingredients that they give you, I'm I'm almost certain I can make it better. So I slapped this in, onto my list of uh, dishes that I have to make for myself to uh, to kind of enhance and put my own flair on it because it was just so good, man. Like, not even joking. It was extremely good and I'm very glad that I chose it. Um, you know, I, I look at spaghetti in a whole new light now, and I know you can use spaghetti noodles for different things. I just hadn't, you know, like I did. I realized that spaghetti noodles are not just used for spaghetti. I just hadn't done it. But this kind of opened the door and opened my eyes to the possibilities that there's much more uh, things out there. If you got spaghetti noodles in your you know, pantry or whatever, 
your only option ain't just you know regular red sauce spaghetti like you can get really creative and make some pretty amazing things uh if you have the ingredients to do so so would i get this dish again obviously after that glowing endorsement yes i will um would i recommend it to you i mean you know it depends on what kind of flavor profile you're into uh, it was a very fresh tasting dish like it didn't feel like heavy or you know something like you, you should feel bad for eating afterwards like I felt like I was eating good <laughs> it tastes good and it felt like it was good for me so uh, at the end of the day this dish was a winner I really liked it so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video the next video will be dropping uh, next Friday I believe I'm on a Friday schedule now. <laughs> I think that's where I was before, but I kind of fell off my schedule. I'm sorry, but I got some new equipment. I upgraded my computer and now I can edit with ease. Like everything is buttery smooth. No more issues or hiccups or bull crap or waiting for the timeline to catch up and stuff. Like Camtasia is running like a champ right now. And I, I am so pleased right now because editing is actually fun because I don't like there's none of the crap anymore. So. Uh, as I said, I'll be trying to get these videos out in a timely manner from now on. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.